Uh, one of the most common questions that I get uh, is how to play sound on Windows. Um, normally I can't answer that because I don't use Windows, uh, but I decided to uh, give it a shot. And uh, instead of downloading Windows illegally or borrowing someone's computer, uh, what I did was I downloaded something called React OS and I'm running it inside a virtual box here on my Mac. Um, React OS is a, an open source implementation of Windows. It is not feature complete, but it does a pretty good job, as you'll see here shortly. Um, so to get to the business at hand, um, I've installed React OS, and I have installed Python 3.4, uh, which I downloaded and installed. And what I've done is I've downloaded a couple of WAVE files, and we're gonna be using sound2.wave. And I've written a little program here called sound.py, which contains the code to actually play the sound. And I'm going to show you how that works here in a second. Um, so first, let's take a look at the code. Um, I've also downloaded and installed Notepad++, which works really, really well uh, here on React OS. So basically, uh, let me take a look here at Linux and Mac, because um, that's what I'm used to. So to play a sound on those operating systems, you import OS, and you use the following command, os.system. And on Linux, there's a program called aplay, which I assume is audio, and then the name of the sound file. And then you have to put a little ampersand at the end. And what that does is lets the sound play in the background while the program continues. So if you watch my videos, you'll understand what that means. Um, if you're on Mac, uh, instead of aplay, it's afplay. And it does basically the same thing. Uh, now, again, a lot of people use Windows. I don't know why, but because uh, since you can download Linux for free. But if you have to use Windows, uh, here's how you do it. There is a module in Python called WinSound. So you need to import WinSound. And then to actually play the sound, it's very simple. It's WinSound.PlaySound. Notice capital P, capital S, and then parentheses, and then quotes, the name of the WAV file, uh, or you know, whatever type of audio file, comma, and then you need to add winsound.capitalSND underscore async. And that has the same effect as adding the ampersand does down here. It lets the sound play in the background while the computer uh, continues on with the rest of the program. So like if you're playing a game, you want the sound, say the explosion sound, to play. Uh, and then this here just keeps the program from closing. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the command prompt, and I'm going to execute that file. Notice I'm already in the Python 3.4 folder. Again, I'm not too familiar with Windows, so I don't quite know exactly how to do this another way, but uh, so I'm typing Python and I'm going to run the py file. I'm going to hit enter and hopefully if we listen closely you'll hear a little sound. Okay, hopefully that came across on the microphone. And that is it. So it's, it's quite simple um, to basically replace, again if you're watching my videos, anywhere where you see me do something like this, or something like this, you can replace it with this format. So if you do a little Googling, you can find the entire WinSound module page. I'll, I'll, put it, I'll put a link in my uh, comments down below, or in the description down below. Okay, thanks for listening, and Windows users, good luck, but give Ubuntu or another Linux variant a try.